guys, I did it. I went and bought me another bike. Riding Fernando's uh, Honda Grom really just kind of got the best of me. Really started putting the feelings back into me about wanting to get on a bike again, or at least get on a bike and have a little bit of fun. And uh, so I just started searching around and started looking at Honda Groms, you know, the small 125 class, something that we can take whenever we go camping. And then I, I had done a little research and I found out about the Honda Monkey. Started looking into that. That's what we ended up with is a, a Honda Monkey. This is a 2019 model, so it's a leftover from last year. Uh, 2019 Honda Monkey 125. And I have not even ridden it yet. Uh, when I bought it, the dealership I was at, I mean, it was all the way up until closing time that uh, it took to get it and then get it serviced and uh, get everything purchased. And they rolled it out there to the truck. It was dark. So they were all ready to go. So I just said, let's just load it up and I'll ride it later. So it has zero miles on it. That's what the odometer says, zero miles. I did crank it up uh, last night and uh, just, you know, hear it crank up and run. But really looking forward to this. This looks like an awesome bike. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on other people that's been riding them. And, you know, uh, just a lot of guys out there having fun with these bikes. So I think this is going to be something that will be fun to uh, put in the back of the truck here and take with us whenever we go camping or go on our adventures. And being places like Carabelle is a great example. Everything is kind of close by and you don't have to go really fast. You could get on a little bike like this and just kind of bang around town or just, you know, just have some fun around the campground, or around the state parks, or wherever you're at. So I ended up getting one. Here's a uh, little bit closer look at it right here. This is a mini bike, and even though it is a mini bike, it's still suited for adults. That's kind of what it's built for is adults. And you can see that big old fat seat on it. It sits very comfortably. It's it's a lot more comfortable than the Honda Grom. I'll say I'll tell you that. Uh, handlebars are a little bit taller. You're just sitting in a more upright, comfortable position. And what's so cool about these bikes right here is that they just they uh, they designed them after the original Honda Monkey, I believe, from the '60s. They were a, a very popular bike back then. The uh, retro bikes are really popular these days. All the major brands are making the retro bikes again. And this one seems to be very popular doing well with Honda. So I decided to get myself one. And hopefully I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. We'll take it with us on the road and I'll ride it around the campgrounds or wherever we're at, you know. It is uh, fuel injected. Starts right up, has no issues with that. And uh, looking forward to uh, doing a little bit more research. There is a lot of aftermarket available for these bikes. I know there's uh, there's some additions you can do for the rear springs here. That uh, I'll probably definitely need to do that because of the size guy that I am. The, uh, the exhaust pipe, I saw another video of a guy doing a test ride on a monkey and they had the Yoshimura exhaust mounted on it and i thought it sounded really good uh, that i don't know if i'm going to do yet just because in the campgrounds you're going to want something that's not going to raise a bunch of eyebrows and suspicion so we may just end up leaving the stock pipe on there just because it's so quiet so anyway there's just a quick first view of it and i'm going to get it down i did buy this ramp at the dealership also because i had no ramp on me and I'm probably gonna upgrade to a uh, much wider ramp that I can use to uh, be able to load this up by myself without any issues. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get her down and then we'll get her fired up and take our first look at it. Okay, we successfully got her down. Wasn't a problem being right here at the house because my concrete is so much higher. It makes the uh, height at the tailgate a lot easier. But we're gonna work on this system right here I've been looking at those wider ramps that fold up that I think I'll probably invest in so that I can easily ride the bike up and then walk it down and have a ramp to, to uh, walk on there and it folds up out of the way. So there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll fire it up for you. There's the key right there. And by the way, you might notice I don't have a tag on it yet. And the reason why I don't have a tag is because I went over and bought this at a dealership in Alabama and I just uh, paid for it outright and I've got 
the uh, certificate of origin with me. I got all the paperwork I need. I had to go down to my uh, local tax office and pay the taxes and registration and get the tag for it. So I'm hoping that maybe I can use my old tag. I used to have another tag uh, for a motorcycle I had back in 06. So I don't know. But anyway, so we still got to do that. Got to uh, call and get insurance on it, that kind of stuff. So anyway, thought I'd mention that. So here we go. Let's put the key in. And watch this right here. You got the little, uh, looks like the eyes blinking at you. And you can see zero miles there. Fires right off. That is the second time that I cranked it. I did crank it up last night when I had put it in the truck. Got to take it easy for a couple hundred miles. I've got the manual on it that shows the uh, proper break-in procedure. So no uh, no hardcore riding with it till we get it properly broke in and uh, get the first oil change done on it. <laughs> I'm ready to get on this thing and go for a spin. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing on its maiden voyage. Not much of a good area around here to ride, but we're going to take it for a spin anyway. Got Abby behind the camera there. Look how pretty that is. I know I probably look way too big for this bike, but I don't care. It's a bag full of fun. I'm excited to hear it start. That's it. It's so cute. You can't hear it over the, over the uh, loud trucks out there. Oh, it's so adorable. All right, well, here it goes. It is a four speed, by the way, with the clutch. There we go. Yeah, he's so happy. <laughs> it's coming back, see if we can catch a smile. It's so smooth, man. <laughs> it's so comfy. The seat on this thing is very, very comfy. You know, I, I still got plenty of uh, knee room there whenever you go make a corner. Out it, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Heck it's yeah, really, it's gonna be fun. It's really comfortable riding it, so it still says zero mile on it. I haven't even taken it. See? Zero miles. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably end up riding it up around around the neighborhood a little bit. Just to kind of uh, get my get my feel of it. This is going to be great. I can't wait to uh, take this thing to like, you know, on a camping trip, ride it around the campground, around the uh, state parks or around town. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to get have to get a scooter. Abby wants I'll be a scooter. So, I'll be shopping for one. Abby wants a scooter. We're probably going to try to find her like a little 50cc scooter <laughs> so she can bang around with me. Yeah, well, awesome. it's just so adorable. This is awesome. I love this. <laughs> well that was our very first ride on the new monkey and i ended up putting one mile on it total with uh, those two little laps that i did one mile 
I'm already loving this bike. Gonna love to have this. Such a cool little, cool little motorcycle. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So really looking forward to the adventures that I'm gonna be able to have on this thing on our uh, upcoming trips. So anyway, I think that's gonna be about it. Just wanted to kind of capture this moment, you know, something to be able to look back on and uh, see when we, we got the, uh, the new bike and, you know, getting it unloaded and taking our first spin on it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, man. I'm looking forward to getting on this thing and putting some more miles on it.